you need to get an in-home studio because the fact that people are still paying for studio time in 2020 is insane to me. What's, it, right. what's the what's the cheapest I could pay but let's for say, good let, quality? Let's say this, though. Let's say you're paying $100 an hour, uh-huh. right? All right. After 30 hours, which is not that much studio time, let's call it 30 fucking one-hour sessions, you feel me? Uh-huh. You've already spent money that could have got you a the same studio setup that I had at my boy's house that I did my whole career on. Uh-huh. How much that, did it cost? Probably twenty five hundred, three grand. And, and what did you record on that twenty five? That twenty five hundred dollars of equipment. Where did it take you? So that was, and just to like be fully transparent, that was the baby bottle blue mic, which was like five hundred dollars, six hundred dollars. Apogee Duet audio interface was like five hundred. Excuse me, because that's so what is that? Fuck it, eleven hundred. Um, uh, what's it called? Speakers. Honestly, you don't even need speakers. I've been recording in my hotel rooms. With just yeah. the headphones, you uh-huh. feel me? Um, and then a MacBook, so fifteen hundred, whatever the fuck that is. So you're looking at roughly twenty five hundred to thirty five hundred, give or uh-huh. take. And I mean, I did losing control on that. That's five times platinum. I did uh-huh. what they want, triple platinum. I did uh-huh. Missy You Crazy platinum. I mean, I sold sixteen million, you know, certified singles. Like I've sold more than that. But as far as what's on like R I double A, and you did all it, that shit on the, you did. Yeah. Hold up, you did. Hold up, hold up. You sold sixteen million more than that. I'm I'm lowballing. All right, yeah. but we're just low yeah. lowball. <laughs> and you got thirteen million. And you got thirteen million monthly listeners on Spotify. Yeah. But you sold sixteen million mm-hmm. singles. Yeah. On off of recording on a twenty five hundred dollar setup recording in an unfinished basement where you got to wait for the pipes to stop running to record in between. Yeah, but that's the thing. It's like, and for a while the shit sucked. I'll be mm-hmm. the first. I always tell people like my first shit like. I put out 11 mixtapes, trash, like the first eight, trash, Damn. just quality wise, they weren't there. And it's like, yeah. you know, when I go look back, I'm like, okay, I can see why this didn't work. Right. <laughs> this was not hard. Right. But at the time, I thought it was hard. And right. you need that delusional stain of self-confidence. But, um, you know, once the music got to a place where it was, it could compete. At that point, my approach was off. What's good? It's Timeless Rock with TR Mentality, man. Before we get into the video, make sure y'all own your own shit. In this clip, we got Russ talking about why, as an upcoming independent artist, you gotta own your own studio at the house, man. If you wanna be an artist, you cannot be relying on nobody else to do what you need to be done, man, at any point in your career at all, really. But mainly at the up and at the start, because you don't have you don't have the money to just be able to just constantly be like, okay, let me get in the studio, let me get in the studio. We're going to use the same example that Russ was talking about. Russ was talking about, say you go to a studio that's $100 an hour and you go for 30 hours. But let's just say 10. Even if you go for 10 hours, okay, you got $100 for 10 hours, that's $1,000. With that $1,000, you could definitely get a microphone and you could definitely get an interface. This is the blue, this is the baby bottle blue microphone that Russ was talking about in the video. And you could get that out the way. And then you go ahead and get you a computer, which like he said, he spent about twenty-five dollars to about $3,500. And he got him a good studio that got him platinum records. Songs going five times platinum. He got songs going, you know what I'm saying? Multi-platinum songs just off of a $2,500 setup or a $3,500 set up whatever and like i said when it, when we go back to the studio thing if you pay a hundred dollars per hour first off you're gonna run out of money because you're an upcoming artist you don't really have the money you probably work a regular job and you might make about four hundred dollars a week whatever however many hours you work if you part-time you're gonna make even less than that so then boom you go to the studio about a couple times a week maybe and then you, you know what I'm saying? So you're not constantly working on your craft like you should be. You're not able to get into the studio late at night. You're not able to just get in the studio right when you wake up. You're not able to constantly make music and get better at your craft. But when you buy your own studio setup, you literally pay that fee. You pay the one-time fee. So you pay $3,000 for your entire setup. You pay that one fee and you free for life. You obviously got to learn how to mix, which takes some time. But you say, let's take it. Let's say you take two, three months to learn how to mix at least good enough to where people can actually listen to this shit. You know what I'm saying? It's not perfect, but it's people can actually listen to it. It's audible and it actually sound good. You know what I'm saying? So like that would take maybe two, three months if you really lock in and you focus every single day and you record, you mix, and you learn how to master and all that type of stuff like that. Me personally, I only been into a studio outside of my crib about two times and every song i released been at the crib. You know what I'm saying? Of course, when I first started off, my shit was trash. I didn't sound good. I just started making music so my my writing game was shitty and i didn't have money to go to a studio when i first started i was like okay let me get a studio because that's all i thought about was 
Let me go to a studio. I found out how much it costs per hour, and I was like, okay, I don't have that. Let me get the fuck out of there. I'm fucked up in the pockets. I can't do that. And so then the next option was, okay, well, how can I get a microphone at the house and go ahead and set up and record myself? I didn't know shit about interfaces. I didn't know shit about none of that shit. I didn't know. I'd never seen nobody record. I'd never seen nobody mix. I didn't even know what mixing was. One of my friends had one day hit me up like, yo, Logic Pro, you can, you can, you can mix your song. And I didn't know what the fuck mixing even meant. I knew what editing videos was, which obviously... Mixing is, in a sense, the same type of touch that you would do for videos. Obviously, it's different, but you know what I'm talking about. It's the process of basically editing the song. And then over time, I just got piece and piece, gaining more knowledge, and just ended up getting better and better and better, and I'm the artist I am today. If you're an artist and you don't have your own home studio, leave a comment down below and tell me why you don't have your own home studio. What's stopping you from going ahead and getting started today and becoming fully self-sufficient? Let me know down in the comment section. And all my artists that already do mix and master and and record themselves at home let me know what your experience been like let me know how long you've been doing it and hey man we go ahead and have a conversation about it man if you're new to the channel make sure you go ahead and subscribe and also like the video man i'm out of here when you pop they gonna act like they all know you i ain't had nobody in my pictures that ain't coming with us when you pop they gonna act like they ain't hold you hold you down when they think it's beneficial best believe that i was down bad on my dick it turned me numb turn me numb now i've been flying anyway.